I think that ICF does seem like one company, and I think each day we're moving further in that direction. I really do see us growing in ways that we have not grown before. I see us taking on new opportunities that we have not taken on before. We're more diverse. We're, you know, we have more scale, so we can chase work that we know, couldn't have chased before either because of geography or certain skill sets we didn't have before. I really feel like the company is open to new ideas, wanting people to succeed. Just a nice feeling to know that your big acquiring mother is a group of smart people that had real thoughts, strategic thoughts about how we would fit into their company. It wasn't just sort of an acquisition and we're here. They, they, they take an active role. From the beginning, it kind of felt like we were uh, siblings separated at birth, or, you know, that we had a shared common culture and view of, of our work, our work ethic. From the beginning, we were welcomed. I received calls when we reorganized that same day that we reorganized into our new divisions. I got a call from my new boss. I got a call from my, my new boss's boss. NACRA had a really strong reputation already across a lot of different federal agencies, particularly here in Atlanta with CDC. And so that's been, a, I think, a really strong contribution that we've already brought to the, to the broader company. We certainly are evolving and evolving into a, a more cohesive company, a one ICF. If we want to move into a different sector with the type of IT work that we do, we, we, we have that ability now. We are continuing to do what we do. I mean, it's, it really, it's not been an issue, I don't think, in terms of assimilating and integrating with ICF. It's very evident when you're working day in and day out um, at ICF that the undercurrent or the, the subtext of what people are doing is really doing their work because they care about making the world a better place. Sometimes we feel like it's a nonprofit, <laughs> even though we know it's a for-profit company, but it's that same kind of passion about what we do and how we impact people's health I think is very similar. We really fit into the mission of ICF. We had the same kind of passion, we had the same kind of commitment, and we had the same kind of purpose, and that was really helping children, youth, and families. So it's been a good transition. This company has something very unique, which is that you know everybody who works here has this incredible commitment, um, not even just professionally, but also personally, to, to helping other people. You might have your own ideas, but you also have the ideas that you got on the previous engagement that you had with another client. You also might have the ideas of the person down the hall who has similar background to you, but just comes from a different basis or, has, or applies them differently to clients. And the idea is if you pull them all together, you can provide your best consultation. Helping to strengthen our relationships with our existing clients. I'm now able to call on, you know, almost 200 colleagues, whereas before I was able to call on about um, 80 wonderful colleagues, but now it's about 200 colleagues that I can call to the table, bringing their knowledge, their expertise, and furthering our efforts with our clients. Immediately, we were able to uh, pool our talents um, particularly our understanding of California regulations. As ICF and Jones and Stokes merged, we saw a lot of innovation in the way that that came together and really helped make the two companies into one solid foundation of a company. We want to do this bigger, more complex technology job. We can do that now. I want to work for a company that has good values, and I feel like I do. You know, I think it's, it's certainly going to be an evolving process. Things will continue to get better, and then we will continue to grow as a company. Each day that we kind of work together a little bit more, we find ways to kind of make ourselves feel more unified. <laughs>